I am here and I just landed and it is freezing and I had ice, ice buildup on the way here. What? Ugh. So I have a confession to make. I have no experience with icing, and it has always kind of scared me because of the horror stories I have heard. But in hindsight, I was so glad that this happened today because my reactions and my gut instincts were right on. So let's go over my first icing event from start to finish. I was coming back from Florida to Washington DC and it was an awesome trip. I had a 20 mile an hour tailwind the entire way and I was doing a consistent 145 miles an hour over the ground and I was making fantastic time. Leaving out of Henderson, North Carolina, I had about 180 miles for this last leg. I climbed to 7,500 and flew directly into and over overcast skies. I checked all the METARs all the way up to DC and the cover was consistent at 5,500 feet. So I got a pop-up IFR clearance, briefed the approach into KVKX and felt pretty prepped and capable. That was awesome. It was IFR and I was IFR under a beautiful blue sky and over a smooth layer. So about 70 miles from VKX, the controller descended me right into the layer. November 1-4 Yankee to send maintain 6,000. 6,000 for one four Yankee. Now, this is where good training kicked in. And I want to stop and thank my friend and instructor, Larry James, for driving this into my head. When going into moisture near and around freezing, get that pedo heat on. I didn't even think about it. I just did it like a reflex. I dipped into the layer and I went super focused on my instruments and I really didn't even look out the windshield or the wings. I was in solid IMC for about 20 minutes and hyper focused on my instruments. I hadn't been in IMC for a while and I was just getting into the groove and then I glanced at the windshield and there was a solid sheet of ice on it. And then there was a thin layer of rime ice on the wings all the way to the wingtips. And then a glance at the temperature probe. Uh, approach, I've got uh, some icing buildup. If I could uh, expedite that and lower it, it would be great. I'm running the moisture here. Stand by. For 2 one for Yankee, just to maintain 4,000. 4,000, one for Yankee, thanks. Now, let's speed this up a bit and you can actually watch the ice form. A couple of things to notice here. Look at the ice form around the temperature probe and the wing. Also, look at the windshield. But what really got me was the antenna in the back. Look at the antenna oscillating because of the ice that had formed around it. Now, there was no degradation of aircraft performance yet but I got out of it just in time. The controller asked me to hang on for four miles and I complied, but I was just about to demand a descent for icing. And right before I was gonna do that, he lowered me to 4,000. And then you can see the temperature gauge coming back up. So the sped up view is really helpful to show how ice forms and how quickly and how important it is to get out of the moisture. Once I got out of the moisture and got out of those clouds, the ice broke up, melted away, and I had a normal approach into KVKX. So keep this in mind as we get into colder weather. Pedo heat and stay out of the moisture near freezing temperatures. I hope you learned something. Don't mess with this stuff, especially if you are not instrument rated, which gives you all the more reasons to go down to Florida for a couple of weeks during the winter and get your instrument rating. Email me for more information. I know an awesome instructor down there and you will love it and it'll be warm. So I hope you learned something. And if you are over 50, get up and get in the air. Thanks for watching.